If you were new to the GTA world and you don't know what 5M is, basically it's a separate client for PC gamers. And in this separate client, you can do whatever you want. It is GTA Online, but with absolutely no restrictions. You can join roleplay servers where you actually roleplay certain characters and you live the lives of your characters in a legitimate or a non-legitimate way. There are crazy racing servers and realistic racing servers if you're into that. There's zombie servers where you and a bunch of random people try and survive a zombie apocalypse in Los Santos. The list goes on and it is very popular. Matter of fact, it's actually more popular than GTA Online, the main game, at least on PC. And in this video, I wanted to just go over and discuss this particular topic and what Rockstar might end up doing or if they'll stop it. And the reason I do say that is because the CEO of Take Two, the people above Rockstar, he said some interesting things regarding 5M and it's definitely going to be one of those things to look out for over the next couple of years. Now, the actual statistics getting into that. So this was actually from a month ago, so this could even be higher now, but 5M reached at one point 250,000 concurrent players. That's a lot of players on PC. Now, if you're a console gamer, I think, you know, the amount of people who play GTA Online on consoles is, I believe at one point, Rockstar put out the number like a million or so. So while 5M is big on PC, it is only on PC and therefore the console people cannot play it. So console people are still playing regular GTA Online and because of that, all together, including all the consoles and all the platforms, GTA Online still does beat 5M. However, on PC, it is getting bigger and bigger every day. Comparing it to the GTA numbers on Steam for I think I took this picture like a week ago. You can see GTA 5 only had at the peak 121,000. So that 250K, that's double, if not slightly more than the regular peak. Now I'm sure that will change once the DLC comes out, of course. But one of the big reasons actually why 5M is so popular, apart from the fact that you can do whatever, is because there are people like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, uh, Travis Scott here, I mean, Anthony Davis, like these big athletes and these big celebrities that are actually playing on some of these servers. And it's it's kind of crazy to think that that's actually a thing. Now, what makes this all so interesting is the fact that 5M has single handedly made GTA Online on Twitch the most viewed game. And in this paragraph here. From an earnings call back in 2019, this was back when 5M was a relatively small project. I mean, it was still popular, but definitely not as popular as it was now. The Take-Two CEO, Strauss Zelnick, he was asked about this, especially on Twitch, and if it had impacted GTA Online at any point. And the response, the only little response he gave was that we don't monetize that. Because, of course, that's all they care about. They all they only care about money. And that is one of the big issues I, I think that might end up causing problems within the next couple of years. The fact that if more and more people start playing 5M, that is a lot less money that GT Online and Take Two and Rockstar are making because there are no shark cards. It's a completely thing. It's a completely separate thing from Rockstar and Take Two. And I think it is pretty worrying that the only thing he had to say about it was that we don't monetize that. Like he's upset they're not getting money. Although it was a little different, about a week ago, there was another conference call and I'll play the audio actually. Someone asked about 5M basically and how it is popular on Twitch. And if that had any impact on like the future of GTA Online or maybe even like the next GTA Online or GTA 6. And uh, this is the question, this is what Strauss Zelnick had to say. Hey, thanks. Um, it's been interesting if you look at Twitch viewership of Grand Theft Auto over the last uh, several months. It's really exploded. It's now the most viewed game on Twitch by, I think, a factor of two over League of Legends. Um, is this something that the Rockstar teams have been leaning into at all? Has it sort of sparked any discussions about 
what what Grand Theft Auto Online might become or, or thoughts about maybe the next iteration of it, because it is, it is a very interesting trend. Thanks. Yeah, unfortunately, to answer the question implies information that we haven't uh, provided and don't expect to provide anytime soon. Um, that said, we're gratified by exactly what you talked about, which is how popular Grand Theft Auto is on Twitch. We think the Twitch platform is amazing, and it's a reflection of the popularity of the title. And um, Rockstar has said they'll continue to support Grand Theft Auto Online with more content to come. Now, unfortunately, of course, that was sort of a PR answer. It didn't really say a whole bunch. Although one thing he did say regarding the next iteration, he said that there's not really anything they plan on sharing anytime soon. So I guess maybe for, for GTA 6 Online, uh, you know, we're not getting any of that information within the next couple of years but the end part it did sound like maybe they had changed their tune about 5m he he was sort of happy that it's made gta popular on twitch and then he of course said you know rocks are making more content for the game and i do wonder if we're gonna see maybe a change in certain gameplay elements from rockstar going forward given the fact that 5m is so popular one of the upcoming DLCs, the summer DLC, it sounds like it might be adding some role play elements, at least as far as crook role play elements goes. Like there's a couple of robbery, multi-part robbery missions that could be role play-esque. And maybe we get some new features and some new gameplay elements in the expanded edition coming out later this year. It does seem like Rockstar and Take-Two do somehow want to capitalize and make money off of the role play community so that is for sure going to be something to look out for and it wouldn't surprise me if in a gta 6 we get more role play features i mean with red dead redemption 2 the latest rockstar title rockstar did put a lot of little immersive and role play elements into it and with the online they kind of well they tried a little bit to go that route they, they definitely failed i think but it might be something we do see more of going forward and I guess to sort of end the video, you guys, of course, can let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. But I would be curious to see how many people actually would like to play like a GTA role play mode. Of course, there's a lot of viewers that watch it, but watching it is a lot different than actually playing it. So while it is the most popular game on Twitch, that doesn't necessarily mean there's a huge market for people who want to actually go that route. Because, of course, things in a role play environment are a lot more strict you're not as loose not as free to do certain things like you would in a regular gta online lobby and i also guess that we're still in the early stages of seeing how this all plays out because while 250,000 concurrent viewers or players at a certain point that's a lot it's probably not a lot compared to the amount of people who play gta online like the regular portion of it but if more and more celebrities more and more people do end up playing 5m and stop playing gta line and rockstar and take two see a dip in sales then things may get interesting because they, they may try and stop this all together but that is something we probably won't see for another couple of years either way i thought this was interesting especially with the fact that the tuner dlc or the crooks dlc is coming out Maybe Rockstar had some role play elements. Uh, the Strauss Zelnick, the clip there where he said they're they're happy that GTA is you know the most popular game on Twitch. I think going forward we're gonna see more role play stuff rather than just making money and getting businesses and and all of that in online. So it'll be interesting, but yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy, please drop it a like, subscribe for more GTA content. As always, I'll see you guys in the next one.